This is Steve with Fuel It, and I wanted to go over our new ES5 fuel line upgrade kit. The ES5 kit is for those customers that are running the B BMS CPE uh, port injection rail, and this will replace the fuel line all the way from the filter assembly on the driver's side all the way up to the engine bay and to the port injection rail and to the LPFP sensor assembly that connects to the HPFP. So to remove the stock fuel line from the driver's side filter assembly, the first thing you need to do is remove the power from the passenger side LPFP. Once you do that, if you start the car and let it run from it until it dies, that will release the pressure in the fuel line. Once the pressure has been released in the fuel line, to remove it from the driver's side filter assembly, you simply push the fuel line in, hold the gray clip back, pull the fuel line straight out. Then we follow the stock 5 16th line up to the driver's feet, and located there is another connection that it transition to, transitions to a flex line that goes up, to the, in, up into the engine bay. To remove that line, we take off the gray clip, set that aside, push the fuel line in, hold the blue collar back, and then pull the fuel line out. Then, up in the engine bay area, we have the line that goes to the port injection rail, and then, as I said earlier, the line that goes to the LPFP sensor assembly that connects to the HPFP. To remove this assembly, you will simply connect, push the two white pins together, they may be blue on yours, and then pull the whole assembly off. So that is The ES5 kit is a complete replacement line that removes both sections of those lines and upgrades it with a dash 6 or 3 8 inch fuel line. This side connects to the driver's side filter assembly, then comes up into the engine bay, and then this end connects to the LPFP sensor assembly, like so. And then this actually connects to the port injection rail. That's it for the ES5 fuel, it fuel line upgrade for the BMS CPE port injection rail. Thanks for watching.